Hey, what is up guys? It's Flash Taco and I'm back at you again with another Before Your Eyes video and um, I've really enjoyed making this video and I've, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me play this game. I know it's video uploads have been just spread out. I understand I, I made this video back in um, summer so um, it should have been should came out sooner but it is what it is and I just hope you guys have been enjoying it and uh, let's uh, let's get right into the video let's let's go let's continue this, this story it's just a hobby at that point you fucked you see he has reached down deep within himself and created a masterpiece oh I didn't mean to blink I'm stuck. The ah! I know that lots of agents gave you lots of cards, and it all probably feels weird and alienating and the opposite of what being a starving artist is supposed to feel like. But if I can teach you one thing, is that if opportunity knocks, you open the door. Making a living isn't selling out. I wish I had thought of it that way. Fuck you, Mom. Benjamin! Marvelous show last week. Truly stunning. I've never been prouder. <laughs> this is some unrealistic Don't worry. This is You're weird. not selling your soul. Oh, look at that! You've crumpled my cup. To being a difficult artist, the best of us are. This is divine. So, now that you've grown your wings, tell me, young master, where will you fly? May I? I, I stop. Is that a? Is Call it the stairs to heaven. I bet you're happy you threw that contract in her face now. You didn't sell out, and you still got rich. <laughs> oh, fuck. I was... Hey, Ben. Don't even pick up this call, okay? I mean it. I'm just calling to inform you that I went to the doctor today, and, well, I'm... I'm going to be a little sick for a while, but really, I, I don't want you worrying about it at all. Here it's... Oh, Benny, I told you not to pick up. Ah! No! But that's that enough for me. Now, you'll hear from the person who I believe was the single thing in the world my wife was most proud of. Her magnum opus, so to speak. Fuck! I think you all know who I'm talking about. Benny? You ready to come up here? Go on, B. Say something. Just calling to 
tell you, I think I'm still in the house. She's everywhere, your son. I can't move without bumping into her. And then I just find myself breaking down again. Fucking Detroit's calling me. I hope you understand. Take whatever you want. With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. <laughs> uh, I'm just so glad you got to speak to her one last time. I mean, I know she told you not to pick up the phone. <laughs> but, well, I'm just so happy that you did. She just wanted you to focus on your work. That was the only thing that mattered to her. I didn't get to listen to her phone call because the game was like, Look, well, you blinked, so go fuck yourself. It's unbelievable, Benny. It's like she's is that, is that really you? It, it's Chloe, your neighbor. My god, I can't believe this! It's been years! I just walked through the entire show. It's unbelievable. I'd love to walk through it again with you. I mean, if you were down for that. I just can't believe that my entire childhood, I was living next to a bona fide genius! I should have guessed it. I mean, with all those little drawings you did. Remember when you still drew my portrait even when I begged you not to? God, you were such a little jerk back then. I... And your mom. I always heard her playing piano from next door, but I didn't know she wrote the actual music. She was... Hey, so, not to be forward, but uh, what do you... I'd really love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. Now would you look at that? <laughs> I cannot believe my luck. You finally hit the jackpot, Flapjack. With all the nobody nothings dying every day, you finally sink your hook into a... Whoa! Well, there you are. Well, hello, sir. If I had realized I would have cleaned up, I'm just used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> I mean, sure, I've had scientists, a couple college athletes here or there, but whew, an internationally renowned painter? <laughs> the gatekeeper's gonna eat you up. Hey, speaking of that, why don't we give your story a test run? Maybe you help me out with the word choice, since, you know, I'm still working on that. See if I'm getting all the strokes right, the proper composition, if you catch my drift. <laughs> nah, forget about it. All right, here we go. Gatekeeper, before you stands the soul of a great man. Would you describe yourself as a, a happy kid or a lonely one? Uh... His childhood was a happy one, growing up in a loving home raised by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. And uh, what did you say your mom was? A composer? 
or an accountant. His mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. How would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? Kind of like your champion or, or more like a taskmaster. Therefore, as his piano teacher, she was over demanding, forcing him to practice day in and day out, hoping that he might one day achieve that greatness that she never could. How about that neighbor girl? What was she to you? Was she your best friend or your first love? I'll be honest here. I wonder titty pigs. Uh, don't. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball, staying up all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. Now, from that moment forward, his mother gave up on him. She knew he didn't have what it took to be a truly great musician. But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium, right? Yeah. See, when he was 12 years old, he got yeah, I wonder sick. If it, like, flips, like, if you, like, he had to stay inside for an entire anything. year. And in that year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten. Painting. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. I don't think but dying, that's it. for the first time, he saw it in a more serious light. He was accepted into an exclusive art school where he caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. But be quiet. So I don't see how With I expectations I on his career asset. mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, which turned out to be a blessing, for it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. I said shut up, you, you scum dolls, you lucky fellows. I should probably tell you, those things, they're not regular gulls, they're liar birds. They're what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. And once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. I get to feeling bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me, living reminders of my oratory shortcomings. Oh, yeah, good thinking. I'll be back to get you once I'm done with this one. Hopefully you won't be seeing him again. <laughs>